Oh, my hands are full. <laughs> I'm trying a new way. I'm trying to not have just my head chopped off, but I'm trying to get the whole shelf right about there. I'm trying to keep it close enough to where, you know, we're, <laughs> it's not all ceiling. But I have a bunch of boxes down here for my antique boxes. Like if I drop it down, it just looks bad. <laughs> I'm trying to make it, um, I'm trying to make a storage room look nice for you guys. So anyway, welcome to my page. Hello, hello, I'm Tammy Neff. Hi, Lori, thanks for jumping on. Um, today, I thought we would do a, uh, whoops, I dropped my glasses. Today, I thought we, and I remembered my glasses, yay. <laughs> today, I thought we would do a little farmhouse walk on my website. Um, oh, and I, I meant to copy my link. Uh, I always get questions about my link. I'm gonna type that in real quick, T-A-M-I-L-O-V-E-S. V I N T A G E dot C O M. Okay, so for anyone that's curious about my website, there they there it is. Uh, hi Tammy, I'm doing great today. Um, I hope you're doing good. I hope you guys are all doing good. Um, I spent the day packing yesterday, so anyone that has ordered anything from my uh, sale that I had on whatever day that was Tuesday, I think, yeah. Tuesday I had the sale, Wednesday I packed, and today is Thursday. So here we are. Um, everything is packed. There is one person that I couldn't find, Daryl. Daryl, if she's on here, um, I couldn't find, I've got, I sent you a message or two in Messenger, but I don't think you have Messenger. So I have some items for you. If you want them, let me know. Um, oh, Marilyn, you got your wallpaper. Did you love it? Tell me what you thought. It's nicer than you thought, right? That's what I'm thinking you're going to say. It's good. It's really, really good. Um, did it get there okay? Like that was a big, that was a big package. It was a big long tube of wallpaper I sent her. We had some designer paper left. She's in my group, but yeah. Uh, anyway, let me know, Marilyn. Um, hi, Judy. So yeah, I'm just getting started here. So I have my shelf, which is to emulate a fireplace mantle like this is about the height of my fireplace mantle downstairs I didn't measure it hey Janet um, oh you haven't opened it yet oh Marilyn how can you stand it <laughs> I had that thing ripped open um, and keep that tube because when you if you if you use it like I do you may want to roll it back up and put it back in unless you're gonna actually wallpaper it down somewhere you know uh, anyway so this so this is like a mantle it's like the top of a high cabinet for you. It could be a tabletop that you have to just imagine it being a little shorter. Um, but it, this is just kind of a way for me to display some things to share with you guys. Uh, some ways of decorating that you may not thought of. You know, a lot of times I go into a home and they just have picture frames all the way across and maybe a candlestick or something, you know, and you can make your decorating so much more interesting. So many of you have loved this little, uh, not episode, but what, what do you call it? This little um, thing I do, whatever you call it. I don't know. So let's get started here. First thing I want to start with, you know me, I always have great greenery and um, today is no exception with my greenery. This is my, I don't, why are these, why well, I got to really have my face on you to read these. <laughs> these are cheap I don't know what they are. They must be like too many uh, strength, like a three strength or something. Anyway, this uh, greenery is the hang down uh, greenery from the website, which I linked. Yes, vignettes. Yes. So I love this. This is the wisteria and it's just a hanging down vine. Now we'll decide how we want to place it. I have a little gap back there, which is kind of handy. And I'm just going to kind of fluff it out a little bit, get a little bit more bang for my buck. See how much you can really, you can really fluff it out and get, make it bigger than it really is. Um, and then I have some easels. So I'm going to put, I have easels on the website. Um, they're just black metal. They're an iron sort of, um, and they have the little, uh, you know, just a little simple. It's it's not going to take away from whatever it is you're propping up. Um, but in this case today, I thought we would do these new trays that I got in. Um, they are metal and they are, um, they come as a set. They're 48 for the set and they have that awesome uh, farmhouse um, stripe. <laughs> it always reminds me of farmhouse. I don't know what officially is, but Black and white always tends to make me feel farmhousey. So we're gonna put one of them on the larger easel 
um, I'm, I'm losing you. So this is why I always do it sideways. This is the first time I've ever tried it vertically. There, I just have, I'm gonna have, I'll give you a close up when we're all done, okay? And then I thought I would turn the stripes on this one. So I have a small easel and a large easel. Now you could put plate hangers on them and hang them directly on the wall, or you could um, lay them down and use them. And really you could build your own little tiered tray with them. Use the big one on the bottom and use like a, a candlestick or something from, um, well, from anywhere and use E6000 to adhere the top tray and the bottom tray. You'd have a really nice sized tiered tray. Um, but for today, I'm going to do this with them. Then I have a couple of, oh, I didn't open the other one. I got this new picture in. I absolutely love it. It's, it's this direction or you can turn it around and it's just simple white. But for today, especially with you guys so far away, um, this one's $26. We're just going to pop it right there like that. And then I have our little, I think I only have three of these left. Um, it's 14 and it's, I got these in to kind of mimic the ironstone ones. Um, it kind of gives you that look that you could mix in if you have an ironstone collection and you need, uh, Norma, nope, you didn't miss me. I know Wednesdays I spent the day packing. To be honest, I came downstairs at eight o'clock. I got a cup of coffee and I sat down at the computer and I, I got up and down throughout the day, but I never even got dressed. <laughs> I didn't even get dressed all day. Well, I mean, I wasn't naked, but I was in my sleep my sleep shirt thing I wear. <laughs> so I had my nightgown on all day long. Nobody was around. Randy was out of town. And at like 10.30 or so, that was pretty handy. I just crawled back in bed. <laughs> Brush my teeth, gone back in bed. So, so I didn't do any lives. I didn't. I couldn't walk my website in my nightgown yesterday. <laughs> I had too many packages to pack. So, uh, anyway, so there you go. So, okay, we'll put those two together, and then we got these cute, super cute little buckets. There's three of them, and they all have a wooden handle. So that's why I kind of quit saying walk my website Wednesday. And we're just going to walk my website now. So it could be a surprise day. It's not necessarily Wednesday. That was too much pressure for me. I just couldn't, I couldn't do it. So, okay. So we have the wooden handle. Um, but yeah, so the days I do hit Wednesdays, you know, we'll definitely blow out the Wednesday thing, but you know, I don't always know that we'll get to be on a Wednesday. That's what made me quit doing it was because I was always doing Wednesday and then it would be like there's Wednesdays I couldn't do it so that I'd have to wait like the whole week to get back on another Wednesday and I decided that's just kind of silly. We're just going to do it. We're just going to do it. When, whoops. We're just going to do it whenever I can do it. So you might want a little. Oh, now I had that. I know this nicely. Um, you might want to get a little poster putty or sticky tack or something like that an angle just to get a little bit more height. These buckets, um, oh yeah, I kept them as the set. They're $24 for all three buckets, okay? And then of course, we need some greenery. So, oh, and then let me show you two. I also have this pitcher. I couldn't decide between the two, so I ordered both. <laughs> and I don't know how many, I, I think there might be, there might be a dozen, oh, let's see, I see them right there on that shelf, one, Oh, I might only have six and six, and I don't know how many are left, but this is this one. Now, it's the same all the way around, and it matches the it matches the trays, and for me, it almost is too matchy, so that's kind of why I got that one in, but yet I really love this one, so I don't know, and that one looked a little more um, porcelain-y, I guess, to me. I don't know, but they cut to shine good. They did a good job for metal. I think it's really good, so the picture is 20... 29 for the pitcher. Okay, so we're going to stay with that one. And then if I, well, when we're all, well, let me just show you. So then I also got these in, which might be better for height, actually. And I didn't put a price. Oh, yes, I did right here. 19. These are 19. They're a lot thinner than what these other ones are. Um, maybe I want, maybe I do want that one. Look, for height. Oh, it's a little too heavy, though. Now, I think I'm going to stay with what I have. I need something else so, more solid if I'm going to go with that. But we'll, we'll, we can change it around. We can change it around for fun if you want to. So I thought I would do it first with the, just the greenery. Keep it super neutral. So I have to match the wisteria hanging down. I have the wisteria, what I call a plop. Always a favorite. Um, 
It's $19. It's flat on the bottom, as you can see, and you just plop it. That's literally, you watch. I'm going to show you. So you guys that say, I don't know how to decorate. It's really hard, and mine doesn't look good. Take your candlestick, your book, your just the top of your table, whatever, and you literally plop it like that, and that's how you do it. And if you want to do it, you know, on, on just on the shelf, the side of something, you just do that <laughs> like that. It's there. I, that's why I call them a plop just so you guys give you the idea of how easy it is to just plop them down and that you know that they're a flat bottom and not a pick. A pick has the stem on it. Um, so there you go. All right. And then I have... I have a wreath that is the wisteria also just so that you guys know it's a little grapevine wreath it's probably oh gosh uh, here I have a tape measure right here why why guess when I don't know the inside opening like if you would want to put a candle or a vase or something is about four and three quarter inches it's about four and three quarter inches let me see if it's that way well it's you know what it's four and a quarter here so it must not be perfectly round yeah you can it'll give a little bit so you better just figure a four inch and you'll be on the money um, if you have a four inch. So like I could have set that and put the vase on top of it if I wanted to or the buckets on top of it. But what I thought might be cute is to get just a little bit of greenery here if it'll catch on my easel. There, like that. So then we're kind of even with our greenery. It would be awesome to have... A little bit more room and have some picks coming out the top which I do have wisteria picks and in that case if I were to do that I probably use the solid black one you can't see my finger at the solid black one and I would put it right here with the wisteria picks in it and then possibly go ahead and like switch that around and put the black one there so that is what I came up with for this week however for those of you that say you never have any color because sometimes I do Sometimes I don't. If you know my home, I'm very neutral. And um, I did keep the yellow spring for, for Christmas. The yellow for spring in my kitchen. <laughs> so I was trying to spit out. The yellow for spring is still out in my kitchen, and I love it. Um, so and even Julie was over. We've been crafting a couple days, a couple nights here. And uh, she was like, I really like the yellow. It's just, it's just a nice, happy thing. I'm sure I'm going to get sick of it. But when I was putting away all the Easter stuff, I wasn't. So I just put the Easter and left the yellow. So <coughs> let's add some color. For those of you who want color, okay, I got you. We're going to take this out and we're going to take this out. We are going to take our purple plop, which is this, which is, it's lovely. I love it, love it. It's $16. It's a flat bottom, so it will sit Anywhere you want to plop it. Hi, Mary Lou. Anywhere you want to plop it, you can plop it, okay? And I was, let's see here. I think i got to decide where I want to plop it. I think I'm going to plop it right there, like that. Okay, I got my bucket too straight. There you go. I want my, I want my handle off a little bit. Okay, then I have this little purple pick. I have this purple berry pick. It's like a, I'll get you up close kind of like a thistle almost, but it's pretty. And it's a nice little subtle pop of color. It's $6 a piece. I have it in this color and then kind of a of a, a reddish color, but it's kind of a burnt red. Let me just get you one, it's right here. I'm looking at it, trying to decide. I know I've shown you before, um, many of you have ordered it, but there is the there it is in purple and there it is in this red. It's, it's not quite as bright as what the camera is picking up. It's a little bit duller, but I've pushed it to go red. I've pushed it to go pinks. It's got to be the right pink to make it work. But you can push this one different directions. This one's just pretty much purple. Um, kind of goes nice with the black. If you don't want your, you like what color, but you don't want it screaming color. Um, that's kind of a nice one. And then without doing too much messing, I'm just going to stick it in there just like that. And you'll be able to see when I give you a close up. And then I have this really cute rooted ball. It's self-standing, it's flat on the bottom, it's weighted in the bottom so that it's not going to, I mean, it's it, it'll stay, you can see, it's not, you know what I mean, it's not going to fall over, it's not top heavy. Uh, it's $20, it's purple lavender, and I think if we were to do that, let's see which thing I want to 
get rid of. I kind of love these little buckets. Kind of digging the buckets. Well, we'll just do, we can do different things. So there it is with the buckets. Oops. That one's a little touchy, but it works. But I love the buckets like that. If you, yeah, you can see them. I love the buckets like that. Okay, so there's that. And then if you're like, eh, I'm not digging the buckets, here we are back with this, which is a little too busy to me now. But why can't we do that? See how it just totally changed it out? And then, oops, there were my glasses. And then, let's see what else we can do. I mean, when so when I say. Like sometimes you guys that see me all the time, you'll, you'll hear me say, oh, I've been messing, you know, changed my mantle or tweaked it a little bit. When I get, you just get tired of things. You just really get tired of it. This is how easy, if you just have a few pieces like this, I'm just showing you how many ways I can change it out using the same items. Um, let's put this little one here. See how, I mean, see how many ways it's changed using the same handful of things. So if you just had a little box, all neutral things, you could pull your purples or whatever color you want um, and then keep it green or not. And um, I mean, I think it's just very versatile. I think it's very versatile. I think that's why Farmhouse was so popular uh, was because it just went with so many different things. But anyway, there you go. Let's see, let me just try one more thing. I just wanna try one more thing. Since I have the darkness of this, let's just see what does this do with the buckets. Let me let me see, is that too crooked? Oh no, no, it's not too crooked. Okay, I thought it might go kind of crooked-ish, but it doesn't at all. Okay, I've never tried a plop in that before. I always thought that would be something for stems. And then do you want the little one? Yeah, I think the big one is too big, and it's not very big, but I think in this instance, the big one, ah, there, I think the big one is too big for here. That's cute, too. So there you go. That's cute, too, actually. But see how the darkness of that ball right there, the root ball, kind of helps weight that, so it's not like a sore thumb too heavy. When I try to think of the right words, <laughs> but I think heavy or solid or dark or I don't know but yeah that helps that work great and I love the purples together it's like different shades of purple so really pretty I yeah a plus I like it I like it now which which one did you guys like the best the first one with the greenery or the second one with the purple however it was configured um, we'll go back to the greenery one so you can see it again so there's the purple do you like the purple better or the plain with just greenery? Let's try this face just for something different. Might be too many stripes and squares and things like that. Let's see, we'll put this bucket here. Get that cute handle up here so you guys can see the handle. And you don't want the handle straight forward. You kind of want it a little angled, okay? And then you've got your plop. Oops, I got my plop crooked. There you go. Oh, my plop needs fluffed a little bit. So and that's something else, you guys. I try and stuff your greenery in tight. The smaller um, the boxes, the less on shipping. And that is to help both of us out sometimes. Um, but yeah, so you, when you get it, you fluff it. Even if you're buying it at Hobby Lobby and it's, you don't, don't just take it home and stick it. You got to give it a little fluff. You know, you got to, you have to. Because look how much better it is. I don't know if you saw it before, but that is way better. And then, um, oh, and then I had the wreath here. Oh, no, I had the plop over here. That's too, I was going to say, that's too much greenery. There we go. There you go. Now it's more balanced out. And this other plop was just for, for fun, I guess. So there you go. There you go. Changed out again several different ways with the same items. You like the plops, Nancy? They're good. They're really good. And they're an easy way to... Um, to add a little greenery for you guys. So thank you. Thank you guys for um, watching. Boy, these glasses are terrible. I can't see a thing. <laughs> oh, you guys like it? The purple better. The purple with black. It's unanimous. Love the trays. Thank you. Thanks, Norma. Oh, it's unanimous. Everyone likes the purple. Well, there you go. I should have left it purple. <laughs> Maybe I'll take a picture of both. 
would make a good TikTok, right? A or B? Let's do it. I think I'll do it. When we get off of here, I'll make a quick TikTok take me like three minutes. Let's do it. So, okay guys, thank you for watching. For those of you in my group, get ready to um, get a message from me as soon as I do this little TikTok thing, because that's a cute idea. Um, I'm going to go live in my uh, private group and I'm, I'm so excited. I want to show you what Julie and I made and I'm going to make one with you. So I um, kind of wanted a little practice first. I'm so I'm, now I'm pro, right? Made one, I'm a pro. <laughs> Oh, all right, you guys. Have a great day. Thank you for watching. And um, if, you, uh, if you'd like to check out the website, it's TammyLovesVintage.com. I would love to have you visit. And if you ordered anything from my sale, check your email because all invoices are out. There was one, um, was it Marlene? I think it was Marlene uh, that said she didn't see her email. And I, I messaged you to see if I sent you, if I sent it to the right email. Marlene, so check check your messages and see if you if uh, what was it? It wasn't Marlene. Was it? Oh, what's the dog's name? The, the sad story of the dog that started with an M. One, two, three, four. It was that, not Myra. Well, <laughs> whatever. Anyway, I, I that was what I had for your email. So um, yeah, you can message me again if you're on here. I don't, I can't see if you're on here. These glasses, I, these need to go in the trash. Oh my gosh, so many messages. Uh, I'm so glad you like it, Janet. Uh, oh, <laughs> Sarah likes them both. Well, I kind of do too, Sarah. You know, um, it's in the it's in the comments, Janet. It's TammyLovesVintage.com. It's always the name of my page, .com. If you can just remember to look at my page name, .com. Uh, but there is a link in the comments. If you scroll up and down, you'll find it. Yes, Mary Lou, got to find some plops. If you can't find anywhere you are, head to the website. Happy to hook you up. Um, you like the first one, Norma. Okay. Hi, Mary. Oh, you guys are so sweet. So sweet. You're a Janet Lee too. Oh my gosh, we have two Janet Lees. All right, you guys. So I can sit here all day and read comments. So I'm going to get going. I'm going to get my TikTok made and then I'm going live in my group. So I will message you though, just to remind you, it'll be a few minutes. So Anyway, got to get my glue gun plugged in and, you know, make sure all my stuff is together. I got to get a little bit of water in a dish and, you know, stuff. So have a great day. Thanks for watching. Bye.